How's it going, everybody? Dieter Kurtenbach here at Oracle Arena. Warriors take game one of their Western Conference semifinal series with the Houston Rockets. 104 to 100, a gutsy effort from the Warriors tonight. They're coming off of a 36 hour break. They just played the Clippers in Los Angeles on Friday in game six. The Rockets were waiting for them here in the Bay Area, and they come out and they played some pretty mucky basketball. It was not very good, but they were able to get the job done and take a one nothing lead in this series. Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson both had ankle injuries from that game six performance against the Clippers. They were able to play in this game. Both of them gutted it out and, and frankly didn't know that they were all that injured. Uh, let's go over the three things, but I got to get something off of my chest at the end of them. We'll talk about basketball first and then we'll talk about the real issues at hand. Number one, a great game for Kevin Durant. Uh, he scored his jersey number 35 points. He, like most of his teammates in the starting lineup, played a lot of minutes in this game. Durant with 43 uh, minutes in this contest. Stephen Curry with 37, really only truncated by foul trouble. Dr uh, Clay Thompson, 41 on that bad leg. Uh, Draymond Green, nearly 40, just shy of 40. Andre Gudala, who got the start in this game with 34 minutes. Steve Kerr riding his main guys, and they came through for him in the end. Durant carried this team down the stretch, as he has so often this postseason, as he has so often in the last two postseasons. And then Stephen Curry with a huge shot to essentially seal the game. The Warriors stars getting the job done, despite pretty rough circumstances, let's call it that, with both the injuries and the short turnaround. Second thing, let's talk about Draymond Green for a second. This is a big game player, and I know that we talk about that kind of stuff really willy-nilly. There's not a lot of thought put into it. He had a good game, it was a big game, he's a big game player. If you have a game seven, if you have a game that you have to win, and the Warriors needed to get this one, they threw it all out there tonight by starting their death line up the Hamptons five. When you need a win, you go to Draymond Green. The box score does not do it justice. 14 points, nine assists, nine rebounds. It's good, five turnovers, not so good. And that was a big problem for the Warriors tonight. They had 20 in this contest, 13 in the first half. They have to clean that up if they stand any chance in this series. But Green was everywhere and so much of what the Rockets wanted to do was blown up by Draymond Green on defense. Now let's get to this third point, And I gotta get this off my chest. If this is the way basketball is going to be played going forward, people are going to stop tuning in. This was competitive, and if you're rooting for the Warriors or the Rockets, you're feeling all of the emotions of it. But if you're a casual fan, I don't know how you continue to watch this game. Because so much of what the Rockets want to do is just go to the free throw line. They're trying to play eight on five. That's five men on the court plus the three referees on the court versus whoever they are playing. It was disgusting to watch. It was a terrible basketball game. And for what James Harden, for James Harden to after the contest say that he wanted that game to be officiated fairly, is a joke. It's a slap in the face to anyone who's actually watched good basketball. Warriors fan or not, you should be offended by it because James Harden went out there and flopped and flailed and tried to get to the line every single time. He made a mockery of sportsmanship. He made a mockery of the game of basketball. And for him to claim on the final shot that he was fouled when he flipped his legs out a good three, four feet on a three-pointer to try to get to the line and one, whatever you want to call it, for him to claim that he was somehow unjustly refereed against in that situation is laughable to me. The Warriors don't deserve any credit in this scenario either. They went down to the muck with the Houston Rockets. I can't blame them necessarily given the circumstances coming into this game, but they were perfectly content with playing a game down there where they were constantly whining for fouls, they were constantly trying to go to the line. It was really bad basketball. We have seen in the last few years baseball really have an issue with fan engagement and attendance and just overall people caring about their sport. And a lot of people say that is in large part because the game has become so mechanical, so rote, and so unathletic. It's because it's now probably more handled on spreadsheets than it is between the lines. That's what the Houston Rockets want to do to basketball. They are trying to take this game to the next level, and the way that they're trying to do that is by basically exploiting loopholes. They're trying to be lawyers. And I appreciate that the Golden State Warriors don't want to play that way, but sometimes you have to play down to your opponent, especially in bad situations. But if this is the way that the rest of the series is gonna go, don't watch it. I'm not, I'm just telling you straight up, don't watch it. This is not basketball. This is bad for the league. Adam Silver, who hasn't done much as of late, needs to come in and do something. Can't do anything for this series, but after the year, we need to have a very long, serious conversation about what is a foul and what isn't, and how offenses have overwhelmed this game. I'm angry about game one. I'm angry about game one. Doesn't really matter what I think, though. Warriors have a one nothing lead. They will try again after 36 hours to come back and, and, and win another one. I guess they have a little bit more than that. Um, but man, 
that was bad, bad basketball, and surely the only conversation that will be had after this game is about the referees, which is exactly what you want coming off of a contest that competitive. This isn't basketball, folks. This is referee complaining professionalized. We'll see you for game two.